So today we're going to be doing a permanent wave on this mannequin. Prior to the permanent wave, um, we, we washed this hair with um, regular shampoo. We gave her two shampoos and we didn't put conditioner in it. We rolled up the entire mannequin um, using end papers in a back-to-back -back fashion. And we have to remember that. Um, what we need to wrap the client is PST towels, a chemical cape, and regular towels. So the very first step that we do before we sit her down here is we take the PST towel and push it around her neck. Not too tight because you don't want to choke her. And then you take a regular towel and you put this around her shoulders. so that she doesn't get chemical dripping onto her shoulders. After we're done with that, we take a chemical cape, which is going to be plastic. Plastic capes are used when doing permanent waves and other chemical um, surfaces. Okay, because we're gonna be using a um, liquid, we're gonna tilt our head backwards very gently. And now we're gonna take the products for the permanent wave. We have neutralizer, waving lotion, and thermalizer. Okay, this is part A, this is part B. Now what you do, this is where the chemical process starts. You open up the smaller jar, this one. It's the same in every perm, so you really need to pay attention. And you open up the jar that says waving lotion. This is for later, the neutralizer. We don't touch that now. You mix one chemical into the other. It is going to smell like sulfur. And it's very hot in my hands now. It just heated up to a, a really strong temperature. I can feel it. It's like pretty much as if I put boiling water in here. I've smoothed it around a little bit. And now I have to take the scissor and snip off the little appendage at the end of my jar. Now, this is its own squeeze bottle. And now what we have to do is we have to ensure that we get every single curl evenly distributed with the solution. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back and forth of each curl, every single curl that we have in the head. If you guys are sensitive, you will start to smell this now and you have to make sure that you get the back of the head as well. So as you can see, I'm going back and forth, back and forth on every single curl. If your client can move their head and help you a little bit, that would be great. Most clients have a difficult time moving at this point, so you just wanna be careful. To ensure that you get the other side of the head, you can walk around your client and adjust her head accordingly so that you can get all of the sides of the perm. Now, because the perm hole at the top here is so small, it has the power if I squeeze this to really get underneath. You have to make sure that every single curl is touched. Now I've already read this perm box, so I know that I can process between 12 and 20 minutes. Her hair is gonna be 12 minutes. I have half a bottle left. I have to keep putting this on and applying until the bottle is gone. Uh, Shania, can you just open up this one of the windows, please? So I'm gonna come back here and make sure I got all my back done. If you miss any curls, it will not work. So just keep applying and applying until the entire contents of the wave solution is empty. still have more solution left, so I'm still gonna keep going in the back, just to make sure that I got all the back done. Now, 
I glance up at the clock now because basically now I'm done. I've used the entire contents of this jar. My customer is processing. So I take my cap, which is a, just nothing more than a plastic bag. I take my cap, I put it around her entire head, and I secure it like so. And I let her process for approximately 12 minutes. You can open that wide, pretty wide. It should circulate. And I'll open one over here. So we're gonna speed through time. And we're gonna say that 9.05 was the beginning process of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a little while and get our next step ready. By doing that, I know I don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna discard that. I don't need the wave lotion anymore, so we're gonna get rid of that because we don't wanna get confused between the wave lotion and the neutralizer. Again, neutralizer, if you forget a step, you can do great damage to the client's hair. In fact, if you don't neutralize properly, the client can lose their hair. This chemical is extremely strong and needs the rest of the process to happen, okay? So I'll show you how to do that. So in the directions, it will say for this type of client that 12 minutes is the processing time. So that means we're gonna start to check her after six minutes. If you feel that six minutes is enough for her to be processed, then that's where we're gonna end the permit, six minutes. It's, it's definitely okay to do that. So we will wait. 